Faith cannot hide. Faith has a voice. Faith is bold enough. Amen. Faith manifests with convictions. God was waiting for the moment. No wonder the Bible says you are highly esteemed. The moment heaven saw that Daniel resolved and determined not to defile himself. God said, hey, come on, come on, come on. Now this is the right time. I'm going to get involved and develop partnership with Daniel. Somebody shout amen. That's why verse 9 says, now God. Somebody open your mouth and say, now God. Oh, I feel the glory. Are we together? When you don't want to do what God wants you to do, you have no right to expect God to do something about your situation. God began to act on behalf of Daniel. He caused the official, underline the word cost, Hallelujah. God will influence somebody on your behalf. How do you like it? It can happen in your office, in your business, among your friends and relatives, in your neighbors. I want to tell you, when you live with your convictions, when you resolve about certain things in your life, I want to tell you, God will step into your life and start influencing somebody on your behalf to show you favor. Favor. I don't know how in the world, how you have understood the word favor. Can we say favor is an isolated thing? Boom, it comes out of nothing. nothing. No. Here the Bible says, when Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine, God showed favor as a response. How can I buy the favor of God? Should I fast for 40 days? Or walk upside down? No. Make sure that you walk with God in holiness. Do not defile yourself with the things of the world. We are still in the world, but we are not of the world. I'm speaking to some Daniels right here in Jesus' name. Stand up, stick your neck out. Speak out your convictions. Don't be double-minded. God put you wherever you are in the marketplace, in your company, in your office, in your own situations only to represent God. 